Hi everyone, my name is Cindy, and today we'll be playing a game called Salad Toss. On the screen, you can see that there's a whole bunch of different types of vegetables and fruits listed on the screen, as well as three different bowls labeled one, two, and three. The bowls below represent the number of syllables that can be found in all the words above. Our goal of this game is to figure out which vegetables and fruits go into each bowl. For an example, for the first one, corn, we could use different methods to find out how many syllables are found in the word corn, such as clapping corn, or placing our hand underneath our chin to figure out how many syllables are found in the word corn. Based off those examples, how many syllables are found in the word corn? Very good. It would be one syllable. So it would go in bowl number one. For our friends who don't quite understand this concept, a syllable is the number of chunks that could be found in a word. The chunks meaning the chunks of sound. So in the example mentioned above, corn, we can say corn slowly and clack, corn. There is one distinct sound. So that means it has one syllable. Let's try another one before we get started with the game. Let's try the word pears. You can either do the clapping method that I showed a couple seconds ago or the putting your hand underneath your chin. I'll do the clapping method. So I'll do it first, then you, and then we'll do it together. Pears. Now you try. Very good. Let's do it together. Pears. So, how many syllables were in the word pear? Very good, it was one. So what bowl would it go into? The blue one, the red one, or the yellow one? Very good, it would go in the blue bowl because blue is labeled with one, meaning it has one syllable. Now that you guys have a grasp on it a little bit better, let's try with the rest of the fruits and vegetables. For the next one, we'll do apples. For this one, let's try putting our hand underneath our chin. I do, you do, and then we'll do it together. Apples. Now you try. Great job. I loved how you had your hand underneath your chin. Let's try it together now. Apples. So, how many syllables are found in the word apple? Very good, it's two, so it would go in bowl number two. Which salad do you like so far the most? Do you like the one with corn and pears or the one with just apples? That's good. I prefer the one with just apples. I don't really like corn. Let's see which bowl looks the best when we're done with the game. For this next one, let's try tomato. I do, you do, we do. And for the next one, you could decide any method to find out how many syllables are in it. Are you ready? That's good. To me to. Now you try. Very good. Now let's try it together. To me to. So, what bowl do you think tomato would go in? You're right! It would be the yellow bowl labeled three because it has three syllables. Let's try one on the end. Let's try the word peas. Do you guys like peas? I know they look a little weird, but I bet they sound pretty good. For this one, I do. You do, we do. For this one, let's try our hand underneath our chin again. Are you ready? Peas. Now you try. Very good. Let's do it together. Peas. What bowl do you think peas would go into? You're right, it would go with the rest of the ones that say syllable one because it has one syllable. 
Let's try garlic. Okay, I want you guys to try it on your own with clapping. Are you ready? Pull up your hand to get ready to clap. Good job. How many syllables are found in the word garlic? Good job, you're right, it would be two. So what bowl would that go into? The blue, red, or yellow? Very good, it would go into the red bowl. Okay, the next one we're gonna do is cabbage. Let's for this one clap. I do, you do, we do. Cabbage. Now you do. Very good. Now let's do it together. Cabbage. Which bowl would cabbage go into? Very good. It would go into bowl number two. Okay, the next one we're going to do is strawberries. Okay, for this one, let's let you guys try it on your own. Again, you could try to do it with your hand underneath your chin or you can clap. Very good. How many syllables are in the word strawberries? You're right, it would be three, so it would go into the yellow bowl. Okay, the next one we're going to do is bananas. Okay, for this one, we're going to try the clapping technique. I do, you do, we do. Bananas. Now you try. Very good. Now let's do it together. Bananas. How many syllables is in bananas? Very good, it's three. The next one we're gonna do is grapes. For this one, I'm gonna let you do it by yourselves and then we'll decide what bowl it will go into. For this one, you could do either method. Are you guys ready? What bowl do you think the word grapes goes into? Does it have one syllable? two syllables or three very good for our friend who said grapes belongs in bowl two you're correct the next one we're gonna do is oranges i do you do we do for this one we'll do the hand underneath our chin are you guys ready oranges you try very good Let's do it together. Oranges. Which bowl does oranges belong to? Very good. Oranges belongs in bowl number two. The next one we're going to do is radishes. Does anyone like radishes? Oh, I'm not sure if I like radishes yet. I've never really tried them yet. For this one, We'll do the clapping technique. I do, you do, we do. Radish. Now you try. Very good. Let's do it together. Put those hands up. Ready? Radish. How many syllables is in the word radish? You're correct again. It goes into bowl number two. Okay, we have three left. Do you guys think you could do it? Great, I think so too. The next one we're going to do is the word potato. Okay, let's do it together. For this one, we'll do the hand underneath our chin. Are you ready? I do, you do, we do. Potato. Now you do. Very good. Let's do it all together. Hand underneath the chin, potato. Which bowl does potato go into? 
Awesome. You're right. It goes into bowl number three. Okay, we have two left. Cucumber and carrot. We'll do cucumber first. For this one, I would like you guys to try it all by yourselves. You can use either method again, but let's see which one you pick. Are you ready? Okay, which bowl does cucumber go into? Who thinks it goes into bowl number one? Raise your hand. Okay, put them down. How about bowl number two? Okay, put them down. How about bowl number three? I might have to agree with those who said number three. Cucumber does go into bowl number three. Okay, our last one, carrot. Which bowl do you think it will go into? Bowl one, two, or three? Okay, keep that in mind. We're going to do the last one together. For this one, we're going to finish off with the clapping technique. Are you guys ready? I do, you do, we do. Fair right. Now you try. Very good. For the last one, raise those hands up. Okay, are you ready? Care right. Which bowl does carrot go into? Bowl number two. You guys are again correct. Oh man, look at all those salads. Okay, so now that we're finished, I would like you guys to decide which salad you guys would like to eat. Salad number one, number two, or number three. Keep that in mind. Since it's the end of the video, I'm going to ask you three questions about the video and what you've learned. Okay, are you ready for question number one? Awesome. The first question is, which salad has the most fruits and vegetables? Remember, the most. Okay, remember it. Okay, the second question is, which salad do you like the most? Would you like to eat number one, number two, or number three the most? Okay, remember, keep think about these questions. And the last one is, which one surprised you the most? Meaning, which one did you think was going to be one syllable or two syllable, but ended up being something completely different? I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope you enjoyed the game and have a very nice day.